hi oh my god hello it has been way too long since i posted on this channel but hello welcome back 2020 has been pretty crazy and it is time already for our favorites of 2020 so i'm going to be doing this video this will be mostly drugstore favorites but i'm going to show you my high-end dupe favorites because a lot of my favorite drugstore or my favorite high-end products a lot of them are dupes for my favorite drugstore products so instead of doing this like in two separate videos i'm just going to make it all go cohesively so just trust me we're just going to jump right in i'm going to start with my first thing the first things first first things first we're just going to get started so the first thing i do in the morning is wash my face i well brush my teeth then wash my face favorite face cleaner of the year has been olay regenerist mine looks a little crazy advanced anti-age detoxifying pore scrub so this is more like a lotion it smells really good it smells like their lotions but for me it just it's like a fresh and clean type of smell and it has the little micro beads in it so that when you're like actually rubbing your skin you can feel it gently exfoliating which i really really love all right so for skincare should i move this this is my little basket box of stuff i don't know <laughs> All right, so for skincare, the first thing I do, I love these little tiny razors. They're eyebrow razors. So instead of tweezing my stray hairs, I just use a razor. Every time I tweeze with real tweezers, I literally will sneeze. It is the weirdest thing. And I don't have like really thick hair. So this is easy for me. Every morning I just go through and kind of clean it up and just do a little bit. And it's perfect for me because I don't have that much eyebrow hair. Um, but if you had like a lot, you might want to wax. I like this. It's less painful than tweezing, but you do have to kind of do it every day. But I don't have a specific brand I like. I just get whatever I find, Dollar General or Walmart. For my skincare of 2020, the Rock Retinol Correction Line Smoothing Eye Cream has been my favorite. I love this one. It's very luxurious, very creamy. Um, it's not like thick, but it's super luxurious. When it's When you're rubbing it in, you can tell that it's very what's the word penetrable but it says it visibly reduces fine lines dark circles and puffiness i think it's been helping me quite a bit and it sits really well under makeup it doesn't get greasy it's not too thick or anything this is the olay regenerist regenerating serum it's fragrance free so serums are kind of a little more luxurious or at least from how i understand it I like to use a serum under my moisturizer because I feel like it gets in there deeper, gets really deep in my skin instead of sitting more on the surface, I guess you could say. Um, and then the I use an SPF every day. I'm not getting any younger. You know, once you're over like 35, it's actually probably smart. It's smart to do this your whole life, but I am older. I never took skin prevention and skin skincare prevention like in an SPF. Never took it really seriously or religiously until I was over 30, but I'm still glad that I do. But this is just Olay Complete Daily Moisturizer, Broad Spectrum SPF 30. It's oil-free. It doesn't say, it's sensitive, but it doesn't say fragrance-free, but I don't notice a fragrance. I've been using this one religiously for a couple of years, and it is an SPF. It's just really gentle, doesn't aggravate my skin. I get dry around my nose. I would say I have normal, normal to dry combination. I have bipolar skin. Um, it's hard to say, but I get like dry and red, but also oily. It's very weird. But this, this whole little combo here, this is what I'm always telling people. When you recommend makeup to people, like a foundation or something or anything like that, it's so different per person because it really does depend, one, on your skin type, two, on what skincare products you put on under your makeup, three, a primer if one is used, for the specific foundation you know what i'm saying so i like to show everything that i do and these these products that i put on my face as my base under my makeup make my makeup look that much better and don't interfere with it because some of them that have too much oils and stuff will come up through the makeup and kind of eat away at it underneath and just get oily which we don't want but those are amazing i love them that's my skincare so the next thing i do after i do my base in my skincare are my eyebrows so this year for 2020 my favorite for sure eyebrow product has been by nyx the nyx micro brow i prefer the shade brunette personally but i don't think that's what i use today so i'm going to show you the high-end dupe my other favorite is um the anastasia beverly hills brow Wiz, and this is an ash brown that's the one i have on today it's a little bit lighter and more neutral than the brunette but these two are extremely similar very similar consistency very similar products they both have a spoolie 
to brush things out. They go on really smooth, don't wipe off that easily, but I don't think either of them are actually waterproof. But for me, that hasn't seemed to be a problem. There is a little bit of a runner up this year though. I discovered this one by Koki. Koki is one of my new favorite brands, but this is their Precision Brow Ash, Brow, Ash Brown number 554. So I really love the consistency of this. The only thing I don't like is that we don't have a little brush at the end of it. Otherwise, it would be another little dupe. But the next one is probably 10 bucks, and Anastasia is probably 18. Koki is probably six. So with those, I clean up my eyebrows with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. This is my holy grail favorite concealer for priming my eyelids and cleaning up around my eyebrows. Like that's what I did today. I cleaned my eyebrows up and then I just used it as a primer and then set with my airspun. I'm going to show you the brushes that I use while we go through everything, I guess, because it makes sense. So I just take a little concealer, squirt it out on the back of my hand, and then I use the Morphe M423. This is the little brush I clean them with. It's nice square shaped, really dense kind of, so it's not too wiggly. And this is what I use to go like this under my brows and then down, blend it out like that. Um, and then this, I always recommend this little duo together. This is a Morphe M335. And this is what I use with the same concealer, but for my eyelid to prime. It's absolutely perfect. You could use this for concealer anywhere, really. It would work really good. It's great for putting stuff on. It's great for blending it out with no lines, no edges, no nothing. I love it. I will leave the link in my description if you want to check out where I get my Morphe brushes. I get go through the Live Glam Morphe Me Brush Club. Anyways, it's a $20 a month subscription service. I get my brushes through them now every month because I use Morphe brushes anyways. It's only $20. You get to see a new collection every month and they'll show it to you and then you get you have a chance to skip that month if you don't want it with no penalty. Or you can pick individual brushes and swap the ones out that you don't need. Or you can swap the whole collection out for a past collection. Either way, you can be surprised or you can pick. There's really no going wrong. And a lot of the time you get an extra or a couple extra from the company. They've done that for me, which was like just so cool getting extra brushes. Like it's well worth the money, way cheaper than if you go to the store and buy these individually. Um, so that's $20 a month. And if you use my code, you will get to pick a free brush, any free brush of your choice. So there's that too. All right. After I do my eyebrows and clean around them and then prime my eyelids, I set my, I just set over top with my airspun translucent extra coverage. It looks like this. Mine has crap on it, but looks like this translucent extra coverage. It's just a loose powder like this. And I just tap over it with one of my favorite brushes. This one is by Moda. You can get these at Walmart. I just get powder on it. It's still got powder on it. And then bloop, 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 bloop. that's what I do with that. So then after we do that, we have to prime. So my favorite drugstore primer is a NYX Angel Veil, at least of 2020. And it's almost gone. This feels like a lotion. It doesn't have like a particular scent, but it, it's called Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. So this one is more like a smoothing, blurring, pore filling primer. It feels thicker like a cream, but I like that because I don't really like the slippery thin ones that doesn't feel like it's doing anything. I need one that's kind of creamy, so it's going to really smooth the surface of my skin. Um, so everything else just goes on really nice, and I do have a dupe for it. So the dupe is the Benefit Pore Professional. This is one of my all-time favorites. This one does have a nice smell. Um, it just smells high-end, what can I say? Um, it's also the same consistency. It's, it's a thicker consistency. Not really thick, but it's more lotion-y, less liquidy. Like, if you put it on your face in a clump, it's not going to fall off. It's not going to melt or drip. You know, it's more like a lotion, like thicker. If they, I hope that makes sense. And then this is a recent discovery, but this is by Smashbox. I got it in a little kit. I bought a kit with the regular thing in the setting spray. This is an, a photo finish hydrating, hydrating under eye primer. That's what it looks like by Smashbox. So this is just to prime under your eyes. And I thought it was going to be a gimmick. I really honestly wasn't going to get that excited about it. I kind of thought that if I put more product under my eyes, it's going to look obvious and you're going to see something and it's going to be like greasy or creasy. No. I mean, you can't see a single wrinkle. Can you? Maybe just a little bit. All right, I'm old, what can I say? 
but it seriously does make a big difference. Like the under eye area of my makeup has never been this smooth. I've been using the crap out of this. It will definitely repurchase. I don't really have a drugstore dupe for this, but I can say usually if you can find a good eyeshadow primer, you can use it for an under eye primer and try it out. The same thing. It will probably work if it works for your eyeshadow. Try it for your under eyes and let me know if you like it. As far as eye products go, um, before we do the rest of my face, I'll tell you what I use for my eyes. So I have quite a few. My favorite eyeshadow palette of the drugstore for 2020 was by Profusion, the Starlet palette. And they have quite a few different palettes, but I was really impressed with this one. I used it several times in quite a few of my tutorials that I do on Facebook. That's just on Princess Glitterhead. But look at these, these glitters. They're so pretty. The mattes are so nice. It really doesn't have it, that much fallout. <laughs> Um, the glitter is a little, that's a little messy, I will say. I always use it with glue, but that's really pretty. They have so many different ones that you can get. So that one's the Profusion Starlet Palette. I think it was $12.99. Favorite liquid liner is by NYX. Just the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This one is a felt tip, and you really just can't go wrong. Like, it makes it pretty easy to do a wing. It's just got a really good black, black felt tip. And then this is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio waterproof. It's a waterproof, but really creamy, kind of coal. Like it's a soft, like a soft feeling thing because you can sharpen it. So it doesn't hurt. It's very creamy, but it's also waterproof. That one's really good. My favorite mascara, surprisingly, from the drugstore um, has been Wet n Wild Mega Length. And the reason is this one is for my lower lashes. I like it a lot because it is so skinny. So it makes it way easier for me to get my bottom lashes and not make a mess. I love the little brush. That was only like $3. And I liked it because it was purple. And then my other favorite has been the Argan Wear Physician's Formula. And I you also loved it are? because it was gold. No, I don't know where the scissors are. Let me check in your drawer. Okay, check in my drawer. <laughs> this one has kind of a different shaped brush but it actually made it really easy for me to get the outer lashes for some reason the shape of this worked really good i don't know if it was special edition because it was gold but it was really pretty and i used the crap out of it um, i'm not really a huge mascara person so i don't have a high-end favorite i do really like the mac i think it's mac in dimension i had a little sample one but i don't know where it is but that would be my high-end favorite and then when it comes to lashes i just use kiss lash glue Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. This is the brush tip one that has a white, white glue. I feel like, I mean, I just can't go wrong. You just paint it on the band and it works. Some of my favorite lashes, um, my favorite, one of my favorite brands is iLure. iLure London. I think these are all iLure, but I don't have the names and styles because I just get so discombobulated and I have so many of them that I can't keep track. This is Royal Silk by Kiss. Those ones are really pretty. Pamasol by Kiss is another favorite of mine. These ones are Lady by Kiss from Dollar General. Those ones are really cute and natural looking. And then another one I really like is 663 from Salon Perfect. Those ones are nice. You can't go wrong. You just go look around at the drugstore lashes. I guarantee you'll find some. They have so many. So, so many. Like too many. And for my favorite high-end lashes, I would say those would have to be my maybe. <sighs> Anyways, my favorite high-end eyelashes this year. I would call these high-end. Oh my God, I give up. I would call these high-end only because you have to order them online, but they are by Maybe Lashes. I do have a code with her. It's Princess Glitterhead. These ones are La Gemadora. And the other ones that I really liked a lot from her are called Destiny. But aside from that, I don't know. I don't really have high-end eyelashes. I just get a lot of drugstore ones, sometimes from Amazon. I order on Amazon. The, the Makeup Shack, they have really good ones too. I guess that's kind of high-end because you have to order them. But lashes aren't too expensive. Or at least I don't buy super expensive. Someone told me that their magnetic lashes were like 70 bucks, and I was like, holy crap what before we forget i will show you my favorite high-end eyeshadow palette the first one is jacqueline hill number two because look at those colors it's just so like sunny and cheerful to look at it has great pigmentation it has 
tons of colors. It has the white, it has a black, it has browns, it has colors, pink and purple. The only shade missing really is like a blue or a green. So I guess that's the only downfall, but I absolutely love this palette. It has good pigmentation. I have really no complaints. There was a couple of these shimmery shades over here that I felt like didn't have as good of a payoff, but I honestly haven't even gotten to use as much of this as I could. So I still have more to do with that one. Another one that I loved, I got this one at TJ Maxx, Alyssa Edwards Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. You can tell which one is my favorite. I'm a sucker for a matte white. I use it so much in the inner corners and under my eyebrow because I feel like it's the easiest makeup look that you can do. A wing and just highlights. And like today I just did highlights and lashes. That was really all I did. So I love her. It's got great pigmentation. Um, a few shimmers, but I use mostly the mattes, but that was really handy. And then another one that I really did like, the James Charles one. I love that one. I mean, I guess we should mention that one. The, my palettes are like, we've had fun this year. You can tell. But, oh my God, and then she's still coming apart. She's coming apart, coming apart at the edges. But anyway, that's the James Charles must-have palette. Mine's a mess. My kids got to her, but I absolutely adore that palette. We also have the Morphe, this is, I think, the 39L. No, yeah, 39S. And this one is like more of a pinky purple mauve tone palette. That one's also really pretty. They all, they all have great pigmentation. Um, this is the 39L Hit the Lights. All of these are really worth it. They're not that expensive, but I guess you'd still call it high end. But this one was another one of my favorite ones. I really loved it. It's got neutrals, it's got the bright neons, it's got reds, beautiful palette. Loved that one, and I believe this is from this year, but this is the Les Du Makeup palette, and by this is from Live Glam Shadow Me, and I love her shade Angel right here. It's one of the prettiest little highlight shades. It's so pretty, but there's that. Mine's a mess. <laughs> don't mind me, because I sure the hell don't. Okay, so favorite foundation of the year is Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Soft Beige. That is my color. Um, this is a $5 foundation that I feel like, um, this is also, it says it's light medium shade, which sounds about right for me. I feel like this foundation is medium to full coverage because I typically only go over it once. I use a beauty blender. I highly recommend beauty blender anyway. For most foundations, a beauty blender will look amazing. Um, you can use a brush with this one, but I always use a beauty blender anyways. I just feel like it gives the best finish, the most natural looking finish kind of makes it look like skin, but I would call it medium to full because I usually do one layer, pretty thin layer. And then if I see any of my freckles or redness poking out anywhere, I'll just put a little more over those areas and that's it. You don't need that much of it. Like for the coverage and pigmentation, I'm so impressed. And another cool thing is that it's got the little doe foot applicator. It's $5. Like, literally, I can't believe how much I love this foundation for how cheap it is. It doesn't smell cheap. Like, to me, it doesn't smell cheap. It smells like foundation, but it's not like one of those plastic smells. And I love it so much, I filled my whole kit up with all the shades they make. So this is what I use a lot for a lot of my clients, and it's worked for all of them, too. Um, it's been amazing. I don't even have a high-end foundation to show you a dupe of, but my favorite one is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. I love that one, and I love the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I need to get more of them. So the next thing I will show you are the concealers that I use, and I already showed you the high-end one. That one's by MAC. The MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It has a little pump right here. Mine is NW20. The nice thing about this though is if you go on the MAC website or if you go to the MAC store, they can help you to find a shade that is perfect for you. But this is, don't mind my thing right here, this is like a, looks like a birthmark, but my autoimmune issues are acting up and doing this and I don't really know what's wrong with it. So let's just cover it up. But just in case somebody's wondering what the hell it is. But yeah, this freaking concealer is so amazing. It's very creamy, but once it's on there, once you get it blended in, it doesn't budge. Like, it's not going anywhere. And they can match you in so many... They have so many shades. This is NW20. They also would have NC20, so it stands for Neutral Warm 20. But they have every shade under the sun, and that just covered it up pretty nicely. Wow. I'm impressed. But anyway, 
that's my high-end one by MAC. Love it. My next favorite has been my favorite concealer for a freaking decade. This one's a drugstore one, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I use the shade Light, and it's got a little um, microbial, antimicrobial, anti antimicrobial tip, sponge tip applicator thing. Tip. <laughs> <laughs> anyways um it has been my favorite so i do like a triangle shape kind of contour the side of my nose and get do a whole triangle under here and i feel like it really brightens my under eyes and flattens it so you can't see that i'm like really sleep deprived with bags of bags expensive bags under my eyes um anyways but yeah in the shade light that's a go-to 10 years this one cannot do you wrong if you get anything get this try it. It won't crease. It won't budge. won't go anywhere. I also use it to highlight and it's just amazing. The only other two that I really noticed this year and liked, I use the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in the shade is pale. I just use this one for when I'm doing a cut crease and I want it to be like a really, oh crap, I just broke it. When I want it to be a very super white kind of look underneath, like really brightening, I use that because it's the lightest concealer I could find at the drugstore but that's all I use it for. And then I also found the Jordana. I got this one at CVS, I think. I am making a mess. But the Jordana Take Cover Full Coverage Concealer. This one is really nice. I have the shade Nude 05, and I really did like this one. I'm gonna cover that up. Let's see if we can cover up this stuff and how good it covers. This one does feel consistent with my MAC Pro Longwear one, or at least that's how the, the consistency feels, but it's definitely not as, I guess it's not as good as a coverage, because that MAC one was, boy, I'm just making a mess now. <laughs> but this one is good. It's full coverage. I think if you did it, like, the right way, it would probably work better. So those are awesome. We did show you the Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage. This is what I set under my eyes with, and I set the center of my face. It's very brightening. It's just like a nice bright skin tone color. They have a few different ones. I like the translucent extra coverage one and I use the flat side to press it in. And like, even if I forget to dust it off or whatever, you can't really ever tell. Like you can never see that powder on your face. It's seamless, it's smooth, it's freaking amazing. All right, so my two favorite face powders this year, I have one drugstore and one high end. The drugstore one is the Fit Me 220 Natural Beige. I love this powder. I feel like it is the most similar to my MAC one, really. It's got a very nice um, coverage. It's kind of like a satin, matte satin finish, I would say. They have a great shade range. Um, it's just smooth. It never looks cakey. It's also got a little mirror in there if you take it with you, which is always handy to have. It just flips down. But that's the Fit Me. Love this one. It's really good. My all-time favorite though is from MAC. This one is probably like 36 bucks. It is their Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. I'm in the shade Medium Plus. About to hit pan. It just feels amazing. Looks amazing on your skin. Um, like I recommend anybody try it at least once. It does have a really nice like skin-like effect. Even when I'm not wearing much other makeup, this will make your skin look really pretty. Like really satiny. Satiny. Matte satin. But those are the only two face powders that I really have to show. For contouring and bronzing, I'm just going to show you the one palette that I've been using religiously. And it is from LA Colors. I got it from Dollar General. Actually, this is probably my 10th one. It's falling apart. It's only $5, though. My skin, for some reason, is very picky about the bronzers I use. And this palette doesn't break me out at all. I've been using it all year. So I use the darkest one to contour. And then I use... Actually, I'll even show you. So my favorite brush to contour with is this Morphe, Morphe 104, the darker one. And then I just contour around the edges of my face and my nose a little bit under my chin. Did I say? Yeah. I'm 104 for that. And then I use this one, which I think I got from Spoiled Lips. Spoiled Lips Cosmetics. I'll leave all my links down below for everybody. And then I use this one to just kind of blend the bronzer over the contour to like give a little warmth to my skin. So I use this one for that. And then I just use my blush brush, which is honestly possibly an old Sigma brush. I think so. 
and I use the, the matte white to give myself a little bit of a highlight before I do my blingy bling highlight. But that's only five bucks. Gotta have that one. Forgot to show you my favorite powder brush. It is this one. New favorite. This is the Morphe E51. And it's like this, tapered. It is so freaking soft. Like, it just feels amazing on your skin. Let's just touch up a little bit. But yeah, that's my favorite, favorite favorite powder brush it feels amazing gotta have so for as far as blush i have a couple favorites from the drugstore this one is the rimmel maxi blush in third base favorite love that i love a peachy blush this one is just so pretty i think i got it at probably cvs or walgreens that one's pretty the e.l.f. blushes, you guys. I just recently rediscovered some of the ones I had collected. This one's a true peachy one. It's called Candid Coral. I mean, some of them are hard to see until you get it on, but it is so pretty. And they have a nice, just a nice consistency on the skin. A little bit of a shimmer and a sheen, like a little highlight action. And then the Milani ones, you guys. Don't skimp on these Milani ones. They're so freaking good. This one is Dolce Pink, um, but the Luminoso one used to be my favorite one. I don't know what happened to mine. That one's just a really pretty pink, and it's got a little bit of a shimmer too. So like a highlight action. So for my favorite highlighters, I only have two to show you, and they're kind of dupes for each other. The first one, this one is the drugstore one. It is by Airspun. Trans it's Airspun Loose Face Highlighter. It's called Snow Much Ice. Holy crap. I think this was just released. It does say it's new. I found it at the beginning of the year. So this is a loose a loose powder highlight. It looks like this. But oh my god, it's freaking perfect. And I'll show you how I put it on and what it looks like. This is my favorite highlight brush. It's the Morphe E60. This is one of the free ones I got in my Live Glam one month. That link will be down there for you guys if you want to check it out. But so you just do this. And you just go ding, ding, ding glass face baby <laughs> all right while my children keep um storming the room angry because they lost their own belongings <laughs> just kidding all right so anyway that's how that looks it's just it's like the perfect highlighter for me i feel like it's neutral looks good on everything i actually put it on the inner corners and below my eyebrow too definitely worth a try a little bit goes a long way it'll last you forever forever and ever and the dupe for that is one of my other favorites. This one is by MAC. Mine's about gone, thanks to my child who wanted to make slime with some of mommy's makeup. Yeah, so it's about gone, but it's basically, it's very similar to the same, you know, golden type of highlight, the same sheen, like neutral sheen, which you can't see. Yeah, she's going to the back to MAC. If you take back six empty MAC products, you get to pick a free lippy. Let them know I told you. <laughs> All right, moving on to one of my favorites. I'm going to show you my favorite lippies. I'm going to just start with the drugstore because most of my favorite liners are drugstore liners. I prefer matte and waterproof. I love retractable that I don't have to sharpen. So these are my favorites. I have two favorite brands. The first brand is the NYX brand. I usually order mine on Amazon. This is NYX Natural, but I also love NYX Sand Beige. That one's really good, but this one's just a nude. Love, love it. Love it. Gotta have it. The other ones are all from Koki, which I get from Rite Aid, or sometimes they have them in bigger stores. Oh, wait, there's another NYX one. Crap. But we also have this NYX one. This one is hot pink. Oh, my God. All right, so this one is hot pink, but I love them when they're waterproof but creamy, and I'm horrible at drawing lines. So we have those, and then we have this Koki one. This is rosy pink. This is true red. This is one of my favorites. Nude 517, that's what I have on today. I didn't draw all of them on there, but that's nude, a little bit darker. And then this one is warm nude. Warm nude one, a little bit lighter, warmer toned. They have so many, though. They have quite a few shades. Like, they have a, a berry, like a wine one. So those are all the drugstore liners. For lips, for the drugstore, I'm going to show you the ones that are they're affordable. Some of them aren't, like, drugstore. They're actually Live Glam or Morphe, but they're drugstore prices. So I will just explain. 
So the first one is by NYX Filler Instinct. This is a lip plumper. This one is Sparkling Please. I really like it. It does tingle. It didn't make my lips ginormous, but it does look really cute and it's very festive. And I mean, it works a little bit, so try it out if you want. And then I've always really, really liked the Maybelline lipsticks like these ones. Just the classic, you know, Maybelline. This one's a nude. It's one of my favorites. 920 Nude Lust. Ooh, Nude Lust. But that one's just a really pretty, it is a really pretty nude. A perfect nude. It actually matches what I have on right now. So that one's perfect. They smell good. Like, some lipsticks don't smell the best. That, oops, that one smells really good. And then, let's see. We also have, for liquid lipsticks from the drugstore, I like the NYX lingerie ones like this. This one is Baby Doll. That's one of my favorites. They do look a little different once you swatch them, so it can be a little hard to tell like, like what the shade is, but that one looks similar to that. Can you tell that I like nudes? And then the next one, I was obsessed with the Wet n Wild ones earlier this year before I started live glamming. So this is 944B Send Nudes by Wet n Wild. Really, really liked their lippies for quite a while. The matte ones especially. But then I got into Live Glam and their waterproof ones. And just life-changing. So here's one from Live Glam. A lips... Oh, I got a hair. So one of... No, sorry. Got it. One of my favorite lipsticks from Live Glam looks like this. So you get three for 20. I feel like that is within drugstore pricing. And if you use my link, you'll get four for 20, which is even better. But this one has a cute little diamond and it is called Bougie. I'm going to run out of room here. I'm going to put it right there. That one's just kind of a mauve nude. It smells like freaking MAC though, you guys. MAC lipsticks, if you didn't know, they smell the best. They're amazing. All right, and then for my liquid lipsticks, I'll show you these first. These ones are by Spoiled Lips. I do have a code with them too. It's just Princess Glitterhead, but I'll leave everything down below. These are my two favorites from, from Spoiled Lips. This one is Ballerina, the pink one, and then Skin, the nude one. So if you're doing a pink lip and you want to tone it down or ombre it, this is perfect. Same thing for a nude. Those are my two favorites. Then my all-time favorite favorite liquid lippy is from Live Glam. This one is Royalty. It's the one I have on right now and it looks like this. You could get it for free with my link if you sign up for Live Glam with my code. It's just so creamy. Creamy and amazing goodness. Let me see. Looks like that. I have, let's see, I might as well show you these. These are some of the other ones. Like there's a different theme every month. So the last month we got tacos. This one is called Salsa. This one is Sunday Fun Day, a really pretty pink one. Then this one is Wanna Spoon, really pretty brown neutral one, but they're always different and they're so freaking cute. <laughs> All right, my favorite high-end lippies. I have these two liners. This one is Love Bite by Morphe, and it's just a really good brown. Let's see if we have any room left here to put anything. Okay, there. It's just super creamy. You just have to sharpen this one. And then this one is Whirl by MAC. And this is a good one for overlining lips. That's a really good, kind of a universal shade right here, Whirl. And it goes really good with the lipstick that I was gonna show you. This one is called Mare. And it goes really good with the MAC Whirl liner. It looks like this, kind of looks pink, but it's actually, on me, it looks like a natural lip color and it looks really believable with the liner so mmm and they smell like heavenly cupcakes for real and then another oh here's another this one's by Hank and Henry this is one of my all-time favorite products of this year so it's by Hank and Henry and it is a satin matte lipstick called lust it's got a button down here so you push the button pops the lipstick out you take it out like this when you roll it up, it is encrusted in glitter, which mine used to look even better, but this, it still has some on it. The glitter actually doesn't transfer to your lips. So when you put it on, it's just a satin matte like this color, which is so beautiful. The perfect nude color. Look at that. <laughs> you can tell I like nudes, look at my forearm. But yeah, amazing, love it. They have a red one, they have a pink one. 
I would try all of them if you can. And then I just recently bought this. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump Lip Plumper. I paid like almost 30 bucks for this. It does work a little, but it wasn't like super dramatic. I might make a video and show you like a time lapse so you can actually see what you think if you think that it works on my lips or how it works. We'll try that sometime. And then the last three, this is my favorite, favorite high-end lip gloss. It is a Dazzle Glass by MAC and it is in Baby Sparks. And it's just, it's like pink with gold and silver flecks in it. And it looks so gorgeous on the lips. It's really hard to explain. Let's see if we can. I'll try. And it smells amazing. It smells like freaking candy. But yeah, it's just really pretty. And it stays on. It is a little sticky. If you don't like the sticky ones, I don't recommend it. One of my favorite, favorite lip glosses, though, I got from Simply Obsessed with Sarah Gibbons on a live sale on Facebook. It's in Pink Parfait. So this is a perfect pink. The perfect pink shade that you can put on without overlining. Or for me, like, I don't even overline. I'll just put this on my lips. And it's just got the best, like, color. It makes your lips the perfect baby pink. It also smells really sweet and like candy. I just love the baby pink. And then my last favorite, this is a Morphe, so it could be high-end or it could be kind of drugstore affordable. And this one is Boho. I like to wear this one when I'm just doing a natural lip. Usually don't overline, but you could. But it's just the perfect like natural lip color shade. Like it really matches my lips pretty well. So I love that. My favorite high-end setting spray definitely has been the Morphe, the Jeffree Star Starberry Spray. It's a continuous mist, so when you push the button down, it just comes out and stays coming out. Like, you don't have to keep spraying. Or, I mean, you don't have to keep pushing it down, which is really nice. And I have not found, like, a dupe from the drugstore that is just as good. Um, the only one that I really use at all, to be honest with you, is by Wet n Wild. And I don't know where we put it. But the Wet n Wild, we have a Wet n Wild natural one. And then I have an, a Wet n Wild rose water one. And I don't know where it went at this point. The room is beyond help. Favorite hair product of the year. I will show you a couple. This is the Tresemme heat protectant I use. It's the Keratin Smooth with Marula Oil. So I use this on my extensions and my real hair that I've been trying to grow out for a year. I'm planning to show you guys some progress pictures or video, do a video and show you how my hair is since the last time you saw me putting my extensions in it was like a lot shorter and now it's like gotten quite a bit longer having my extensions has just helped me grow it out and not freaking worry about it as much thank goodness so this is called the aussie flora aura scent boost with australian jasmine flower lightweight formula it is literally just a hair perfume literally so for girls with um extensions or even girls that you know, if you're just in a hurry going to work or you're going somewhere, you want to freshen up, you want your hair to smell nice, or say you go around like a campfire, you get the smoke smell in your hair. This is like the kind of thing you can use to just freshen up your hair until you can wash it or whatever. And it smells so freaking good. And it really doesn't, like it doesn't weigh your hair down. It doesn't make it sticky. I love it. And I didn't know they made stuff like that. That was so cool. The other thing, this is a little more expensive and high end. These are the Monet shampoo and conditioner that I have been using all year trying to get my hair to regrow. It's the advanced hydrating shampoo for dull, lifeless, thirsty hair with rejuvenate and the advanced hydrating conditioner for dull, lifeless, thirsty hair. I don't have my own code with this, but I will link my friend who I get mine from. I'll put her code down in the description for anyone curious, but this makes my hair feel like I went to the salon every time I washed it and it keeps me from having to wash it more often because once I've washed it with this, I don't have to rewash it for like five days. And even after five days, my hair feels amazing. It's like, holy, wow, like the oil control, it keeps my hair detangled. I have naturally curly, frizzy, dry, thirsty hair as it is. So even when I didn't have the conditioner, I was using Tresemme conditioner with just the shampoo and I never need a detangler. It's just my hair, it's like a hundred degree difference from the beginning of this year that like you guys will be able to see when I do a hair video and show you how my hair is finally looking. Um, but anyways, favorite smells of the year. Definitely favorite smell, Paris Hilton Heiress. I rant and rave about this on Snapchat like every day. It's almost gone. I'm gonna have to buy more. Um, 
What is it about? Man, there is something about this smell, though. Do you guys have those smells where you can smell it? And it's like bringing you memories or feelings. Yeah, this gives me a feeling. It reminds me of my high school days or like getting ready in the morning before school when you're in the gym room, like middle school, high school, getting ready with your girlfriends and everything's safe in the world, carefree. I don't know. That's what this reminds me of, but it's Paris Hilton Eris. I love it. Such a good smell. And then the other one I like, this one's a little fancier. I don't have an actual perfume to show you because mine's freaking gone and I'm a broke bitch. Welcome to quarantine. Actually, I can show you. I need a new one for Christmas though. Maybe I'll get one. My favorite, sh my, my favorite freaking perfume, perfume of all times is the Chanel. Chanel's Chance de Tondre. Chance al Tondre. Right? <laughs> Chance. Chanel Chance. But this is so, such a good smell. Oh my goodness. Yes. That makes you feel expensive. That one does. I need a new one. But the other one I've been using a lot is Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction Noir. And with the Black Cherry Merlot body cream to go with it. So when I want to feel extra, like, sexy womanly, these are the ones I use. Um, it's such a shame. My freaking store. My Victoria's Secret went out of business because of COVID. Pray for me. It's not the same anymore going to the mall when you can't go into Victoria's Secret. It's very depressing. But anyways... Those are my favorite for being sexy. I wonder how long my video is going to be. Hopefully it's not like three hours long. But anyways, I hope this was helpful. I hope it gives you some ideas as far as your holiday shopping in 2020. And yeah, those are all my favorite products. I hope it helps. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Check out my links in the description. And aside from that, I'll see you in my next video. It was so fun getting to hang out and talk. I hope I'm back much sooner than later this time. But I love you. Happy holidays if I don't see you again. Mwah!